Hey guys, I'm Philip, and today's video is going to be all about Coral Frenzy probiotic formula and Coral Frenzy 0.5 millimeter pellets. Hey guys, I'm Phil. Welcome back. As I mentioned in the intro, today I'm going to be reviewing the Coral Frenzy probiotic formula and the 0.5 millimeter pellets. Um, if you've been following the channel for a while, most of you guys know that uh, I don't really do any reviews. Most of my videos are just tank updates and walk-arounds. Um, part of the reason for that is I often see a lot of new reefers or YouTubers that get a product and right out of the gate they say it's um, the best thing that they've ever used. And honestly, I don't really believe in that. I believe if you're going to review a product that you should try it for a while. So I've been using these two foods exclusively for over a year now, and I'm going to be giving you a review on them. So the way this all started, guys, is about uh, 10 years ago or longer, I was on uh, Reef Central and I was reading about different coral foods. Up until that point, I had never really fed my corals. I just relied on light. But then I came across a bunch of reefers on the forum talking about the original Coral Frenzy um, powder and also with the Coral Frenzy pellets. So I've been using those for over 10 years now and I haven't even really given it much thought. Um, as new products came on the market, I started just adding different foods to the mix and once again I never really thought anything of it I just thought uh, variety was good so I just been mixing and matching over the years and then uh, somebody that uh, I have a lot of respect for in reefing he grows um, big big uh, full-blown SPS tanks and uh, he asked me one day if I've ever looked into what's in their ingredients and to be honest, I never really had. And as I started looking into it more, I see some of them, um, they have like things like yeast, cornstarch, uh, a couple different other whey, whey proteins, and things that um, I don't know if they have any benefit or not in the reef or if they're just fillers. So it got me thinking, um, I know some of the foods they tend to uh, make your phosphates increase a little bit. So that's one of the reasons why I went, um, started using the Benepets. But Benepets is one of the ones that has a lot of the fillers in it. And again, I'm not, I'm not bashing this food, guys. I've seen a lot of um, successful reefs using all these different uh, available foods. And... Um, so I, I really can't say that that's a bad thing by having those fillers, but it's just something that um, made me think a little bit. And that's where um, Coral Frenzy, the new uh, probiotic formula came in. Um, the Actually, the owner of Coral Frenzy saw one of my posts and he said, how would you like to try the new Coral Frenzy with probiotics? So he sent that out to me. So thanks a lot for that, Ken. And in order to give it an honest review, I decided I'm going to use that exclusively. And I've been using that alone for over a year. With that being said, guys, the choice is really simple for me. I like to run my reef tank as natural as possible. So if I can use a coral food that has all natural ingredients with no added fillers, such as whey yeast, yeast extracts, cornstarch, garlic powder, soy flour, uh, once again, I do not know if any of those um, ingredients build up over time or are harmful for your reef tank, but if I could find a more natural method, um, then I'm going to try it, and that's exactly what I have found with the Coral Frenzy. It's, um, it's just been a great food. Like I said, I've been using it exclusively for over a year. So with that, let's head over to the website and uh, check out what's all in it. Okay, guys, here we are at the website, CoralFrenzy.com. This is some of the stuff we've talked about. One of the things I didn't mention is a 45-gram jar can feed up to 100 gallons tank for two to three months. We already talked about the purity, no secret ingredients or fillers. What you see is what you get. Um, here is one of the things I just learned recently. Each jar has its own serial number, and they can tell you up to the minute on when the um, 
when the food was produced. The coral frenzy probiotic formula, the particle size is 53 to 2300 microns. It contains marine fish protein, salmon roe, krill, paracoccalus, schizotrium, that's a tough one, arctic copepods, spirulina, artema, rotifers, desalina, probiotic blend. They even go as far as on the bottom here as they show you what's in the probiotics. Gives you the nutritional analysis. Now we'll drop down to the Coral Frenzy 0.5 millimeter pellets. It only has five ingredients. They've eliminated the need for additional fillers that were once needed in the pelletizing process. Less fillers equals more nutrition and better water quality. It contains Atlantic white fish protein, pulse protein, Manhattan fish oil, phospholipid, marine hydrocolloid. Once again, it gives you the nutritional value. So if you guys want to check that out for yourself and read about it, you can head on over to CoralFrenzy.com. At this point, I think I'm going to take you over and show you how I prepare it. Um, if you are going to try this food or any new food for that matter, I suggest you start out at a quarter to a half a dose. Um, that's exactly what I did when I first started using this over a year ago. I started out at half a dose just to see how your tank reacts. Um, I'm up to a full dose now with no really spike or additional phosphates to speak of. So let's head on over and I will show you how I prepare it. Okay guys, for the prep, I use one of these clear plastic bottles. I enlarge the hole right here. To target feed, I attach this acrylic, quarter inch acrylic tube, a little piece of silicone. Plug that on the end, and then I target feed the corals using this method here. But to prepare it, tank water. If you look at the feeding directions, it's a quarter teaspoon per 50 gallons. My tank is 109 gallons, so I use two. And then what I also do is I add three squirts of the coral amino. Shake well. And then target feed. Now you don't have to use this container. You could just use a cup. You can stir in the coral frenzy and then pour it into a high flow area and broadcast feed. I was doing that for a while, but uh, ever since I got some fathead dendros, I target feed. So at that time, I just go ahead and target feed all the other corals. And that's how I prepare it, guys. So now I'm going to head over to the tank and I'm going to show you how I target feed. Uh, now keep in mind, uh, I normally tar target feed when the lights are out. So 30 minutes to an hour before the lights come on is when I feed. I turn all the flow off and then I leave the flow off for about 10 minutes after I target feed. Um, it's quite obvious why I don't target feed during the lighting period. As you can see, my fish are savages and they just wind up irritating the corals and snatching the food right out of the corals, uh, which reminds me of the pellets. Now, when I first started using the pellets, I would also mix them in the same bottle and I would try to target feed. But even at night when the fish were sleeping, it must be the scent of the pellet but the fish would actually come out of their sleeping state and just really irritate the corals. So now when I feed the pellets, I just broadcast feed the pellets because the fish absolutely tear them up. Um, I'll demonstrate that here in a little bit. But, um, you know, the pellets are so fine that they float around the tank and, you know, some of the polyps are able to catch the pellets. So it works out pretty good that way. But for the powder, I do target feed just as you are seeing here, with the exception of the lights being out.
Okay, now we'll do a quick demonstration on the Cordal Frenzy 0.5 millimeter pellets. You'll see me feed here and right from the start, you'll see how the copper band even eats them right out of my fingers. Like I was saying guys, the fish go absolutely crazy for this, these pellets. They are small enough that uh, they do float around the tank and they will land in some of the corals. So I can highly recommend this food guys. Once again, they feed um, finicky fish like the copper band and even my mandarin um, takes the ones that fall on the sand bed, he gobbles them right up. So highly recommend this food guys. So guys, that's going to wrap up today's video on the re and review of the Coral Frenzy Probiotic Formula and the Coral Frenzy 0.5 millimeter pellets. I highly recommend it. Um, like I mentioned earlier, I've been using this food alone for a year and some change. And as you can see from the video, my corals are super healthy. They've grown a lot. You can also follow me on Instagram, cc underscore reefkeeper. You can scroll back in my account to a year ago and you can see just see how much the corals have grown, um, especially the softies and LPS guys. I have fragged so many heads off those corals since I've started using this food. Um, I highly recommend it. I will continue to use this food alone on all three of my reefs. So head on down to your LFS, pick some up. If they don't carry it, you can ask them to start carrying it. If that doesn't work for you, you can order it on most online retailers. And for some reason, if that doesn't work, um, I'm going to leave a link in the description below where you can order it directly from Coral Frenzy. They do prefer that you support your LFS, so I really like that about the company. So go out and grab yourself some, guys. Once again, I really appreciate you all watching. I hope some of this information was helpful for you. Um, if you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave those down in the comment section below. Until next time, see you later.